Hey there, horror fans. I'm your host, Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you another Buckethead-related video. I hope you're all doing well. It's been quite a while since we've done a Buckethead-related video, whether it be on masks, merchandise, whatever the case may be. But today, we have some pretty cool items and one absolute holy grail. Let me start by saying this. If you're watching this and you're just one of the mask collectors that follows me or a Screaming Ghostface fan and you've never heard of Buckethead, go check him out. He is by far, in my opinion, by far the greatest guitarist to ever live. He has made over 400 self-released albums as well as several different studio albums. Just really, really amazing stuff. Some of it's a little bit more just live versions of other songs and... You know, some of it may be stuff that you don't really jam with, but to be fair, if you like music at all, there's probably something out there by Buckethead that you'll enjoy. Because really, he's covered almost every single genre to some extent. In my opinion, variety is the spice of life, and the man with the bucket on his head is cooking with more than seven herbs and spices. So yeah, yet again, if you have not checked out Buckethead, go give it a watch. If you're a horror fan, a mask collector, or just love good music, he's your guy. And he absolutely is one of us. Buckethead has been a mask collector, and to some degree, even an unboxer and reviewer longer than any of us have ever been in the hobby. Today we're going to be taking a look at some incredibly awesome pieces, some directly from Buckethead, some just have to do with Bucket. Starting with this tie-dye shirt. Here we have a Deli Creep shirt that is from the official Deli Creeps website. You can get that directly from Maximum Bob. I have worn this thing a ton over the past few years, however recently, the graphic on it started to fade. And it just so happened the timing worked out pretty perfectly when it did because my friend Gavin's mom just started doing some tie-dyeing. So of course I had to ask her to tie-dye this shirt for me and I absolutely love it. Just check out those beautiful colors. And if you like this one, you'll probably also enjoy this other one. This was a Christmas gift for my friend Damien and I had it tie-dyed by her as well, of course. Check out this Terrifier shirt. Nice red tie-dye with a blood splatter all over it. These are now two of my favorite shirts, and I'm sure you guys are going to see them on the channel quite a bit. And you may see one of these on Maximum Bob himself, because after I posted it, he had to have one. So she'll be dying one for him, and I'll be sending it his way. I don't believe she's currently offering anything, but very, very soon she will be open for commissions, and she'll be selling some stuff. So if you guys are interested, check it out. Now on to the more directly just Buckethead-related stuff. And for this next piece, guys, I am so ecstatic. This is something that I have looked for for years. Ever since I started collecting Buckethead stuff, I've wanted this. It's one of my favorite pieces that he's ever used, for sure, and it's probably one of the rarest things that you could have as a Buckethead collector. I've only ever seen evidence of one other of these, and it was in pretty damn rough condition. Here we have one of Buckethead's coolest pieces. I know I keep saying it, but man it is. The original Gory Head Stump. Of course, if you're a Buckethead fan, you know that he loves severed heads and gory head stumps. And here we have an original piece that was made by, well, I'm really not so sure. There is a little bit of a copyright bit of information back here, but it's so worn out and worn off, you can't tell what it says. You can't even make out a single letter. The closest thing you can make out is the C for copyright right there. If anybody notices what that C is from, maybe there's a, a way to figure out there, but... Not only did I get the gory head stump itself, I got incredibly lucky and also got the severed head that goes with it. Now, the quality for these props is pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. They're pretty low quality. I will say this. These are very, very old, and the latex is still in amazing shape. There's no rot, no rips, no tears, no signs of damage. Really, both of these look like they've been stored away since they were initially made. As for the head, you can tell it's a little bit small and also a very round shape. It has some pretty decent eyebrows on there, but I have no clue what they were going for with the hair. This is some really, really stringy, like, randomly placed, stabbed, punched hair. Very odd looking. But the real star, of course, is the head stump itself. I'm sure many of you looking at this can tell exactly how it works. You put it on like a mask. It has foam here in the shoulder, so it kind of, you know, fluffs it out, makes it look more like you have a really, really long torso and really lowly placed arms. It's kind of odd looking. It's definitely noticeable that you're not missing your head, but it's a fun effect. This whole thing was sculpted very quickly. Um, not a whole lot of detail in it. The gore itself, very loose in general. It's a fun, quick sculpture, but what really 
makes it very easily identifiable to be the bucket head piece is this rip here and the tear going down this side. You can see, and I think it was the Headbangers Ball, but most notably, the Animal Behavior music video. You can see this thing and you can match it. You can tell this is the same one. It feels amazing to finally have one of my favorite pieces and what is definitely one of the most elusive Buckethead pieces out there. But for those of you out there watching, you're probably thinking, isn't there already another gory head stump? And there is, but it's not the same one. I'll show you. Back here, I have one that is made by Distortions Unlimited. Distortions is a much higher quality piece. Distortions, of course, make some of the coolest masks and props in the entire world, or really any other world for that matter. And this is no exception. It is very well cast. It's a nice, thick, sturdy latex. This one also has stood the test of time, and this one has also stood the test of time. No rips, no tears, no rot, nothing. Just a beautiful, gory monstrosity. And as you can see, it does have a tear going down the front here, similar to the other one, but the other one has the one slit over here, and then the tear going down this side. For this one, the tear goes almost straight down the middle, and the smaller wound is on this side instead of the opposing side. So I could always tell for those reasons alone, like these details, that it wasn't quite the same, but the thing that really threw me off was the fact that this had more bones and they jutted out much further, the gore looked different. I could always tell that there were differences, but I just wasn't sure because one of those had not surfaced. Thankfully, I got incredibly, incredibly lucky and got both of them for less than the cost of a retail Trick or Treat Studios mask, so I really couldn't be happier with that score. And to finish things off, I have something else that's pretty awesome I'm happy to show you. Well, it's multiple things, but these are directly from Buckethead. As you know, I'm a collector of masks and props, but I'm also a collector of artwork. Whether it's something my friends made, or something from a celebrity or something like that, I enjoy collecting artwork. And today we're going to be taking a look at some original art pieces directly from Buckethead. Well, I say directly, they were sold directly from his website to the person. However, these were gifted to me from Josh Schlunk. If you guys don't know who Josh Schlunk is, he is the guy that has been making most of the music here on the channel. Not so much like the synthwave stuff, but pretty much anything that has guitar in it. Josh actually has a very similar build to Buckethead and does some absolutely amazing covers of Buckethead songs. If you have not seen his stuff, go check him out on Instagram, YouTube. Throw him a thank you for providing us with some really awesome music here on the channel. And of course, as well, Josh has gifted me some really incredible gifts like these. So let's go ahead and take a look at some Buckethead artwork. We're going to start things off with some canvas. Here we have a piece from 2021. Very interesting piece. He's got a little zipper zigzag arm over there. Here we have another piece from 2021. Or, no, this is, uh, I think, just 2020. It's a guy with some stripy pants and an antenna head. A lot of people like to call these the antenna heads. Bucket seems to use these little appendages in quite a few of his drawings. I'm not sure if that's supposed to indicate that they're robots, but it makes sense. And now we have some art cards and some flat canvases. These are some smaller pieces, but check it out. This one's actually signed upside down and not dated, so I'm not sure exactly when it's from, but I think it's a 2020 piece. Then here we have what is probably the most colorful piece I have by Bucket so far, and also one of my favorites from 2021. Really nice colors on this guy. I love the balance. Cool looking character. I'll save this one for last, I think. This one didn't come directly from Josh. This is actually something I traded for, and it's a bit of an older one. This is a 20... I think 2017 piece. It's either 2017 or 2014. It's a pretty basic just pen and ink drawing. And then for these two, I don't remember which one Josh gave me, but he gave me one and I already had one. I think he gave me this one, which is from 2020. And this gentleman looks to be in quite a bit of pain. Then there's this fellow, which is a lot of fun. I don't remember if this is the one Josh gave me, but I think this is one I already had beforehand. This is from 2020, and it just looks like a clown. I love the sharp teeth on it too. Just a really sick design. And finally, the one that I saved for last. The largest one of them, and also possibly my favorite just because it reminds me of a meme. Here we have another piece from 2020. And yeah, I'm sure most of you probably already can tell what this reminds you of, but this reminds me of the Chad walking meme. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll put it on screen. Just something about the, uh, the whole structure of this really has that same energy, especially in the face. Well, I think that about does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you've never heard of Buckethead, please go give him a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it, and if not, oh well. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.